just us. Now listen carefully, dunce. I'm changing the rules for the final round to make it harder. I won't show you the answers unless you buzz in. If you don't know the answer, I'll let you press Z to pass and move on to the next question. I'll set a nice little score for you to beat within the given time. Okay. I wish you plenty of bad luck. Let's play. It's the final round. What color is Witchy World's big top tent? It's red and white. No? You're wrong. Okay. Which one of these is not... Oh, which one of these is one of Boggy's kids? Soggy. Okay. Which two areas of Witchy World does the cable car connect? Ah, uh, spooky and space zones. Sp space and wild west zones. What was Tip Tup the Turtle's problem in Jolly Roger's Lagoon? Okay. His egg wouldn't hatch. Alright, we're getting there. What does Humble Wumba change Banjo into in Witchy World? A van? Okay. What is Witchy World's inflatable castle called? Fordo Fun, crazy, silly stockade. No! Okay. What problem did these swimming pool kids at Jolly Rogers Lagoon not have? Uh, their pool was filthy. What? Which of these isn't an area in Hellfire Peaks? Oh, we're gonna lose this. Glacier Grotto. Oh, we gotta hurry up here. Where would you find a big oil drill? Okay. What is the name of Cloud Cuckoo Land's athlete, Mr. Fit? Okay. Why did Lago complain in Grunty Industries? He needed them blocking. Three more. That's that's what we need. Who are the similar looking arch enemies of the Jinjos? What? I don't know. Which of these areas is home to Guffo and Cloud Cuckoo Land? Who's Guffo inside the trash can? Ah, uh, oh, it was Minjos. I just didn't understand the way the question was worded. Who lurked in the train's boiler and glitter glitch mine? Old King Cole. Just need one more. Not bad. Okay. The water pipe line in the Grunty Industries waste disposal plant comes from where? Skip, please. How many alien kids on Hellfire Peaks were there? Three? Okay, we got it. As long as I don't mess up. What spell does Mumble perform in Grunty Industries? EMP? Alright, not bad. What shape are the floor tiles in Jiggy Wiggy's temple? They're jiggy shaped? Alright, we've definitely won it now. Weldar? Okay, there we go, we beat it. That's the end of the final round. What a useless score, that. Huh? What's wrong with the scoring system? It must be broken. You can't have got that many points. No, 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 I declare the win invalid due to faulty equipment. Oh dear, so what happens now? Um, I don't know. Any ideas? You could escape in a cowardly fashion, like in Banjo-Kazooie, before we'd kick your bony butt. Yes, I could. Thanks, bird brain. Fortunately, I've built a rocket into my booth for this very reason. I'll be waiting for you at the top, like last time. All right. But this time, you'll be the ones taking the fall. All right, so now we can get into the gun chamber, which is a whole deal. Right, come on, Kazooie. Let's go and see where that door that's just hoping leads to. Do you reckon that's the end of the game? I doubt it. 
We've not had the credits yet. <laughs> that's true. Okay, let's go. All right, everybody. Uh, oh, I don't get to decide what I'm doing now. I just have to deal with it. Oh, there are credits now. All right, we'll be splitting this video in half, obviously, at some point. So, uh, Banjo Tooie was brought to you by. Not by Vertical Sandwich. I had nothing to do with it. So now we'll see some scenes from the game and stuff. And I will take a drink of coffee. So, uh, we do have a lot of cutscene and stuff to do. So, uh, and then a final boss fight. So now, I mean, like, this is not... Aside from the insertion of names of characters into the names of people involved in the game, uh, there's not a lot to say about, kind of, the credits. There will be a... There's an option we got, a bonus option, for collecting all the jiggies that um, kind of supplements the credits. Chris Superstash Sutherland. Mark Chili Willy Wilson. Yeah, so that railroad bridge there, I never noticed that before. I mean, I'm lucky it was a, it was a good guess for the question. But. Yeah, I don't... The, the whole quiz thing... Uh, you could fail it pretty easily if you don't just take your time. And do, you know... Uh, only answer things that you're sure of. And uh, allow the other players to kind of buzz in when they're, you know... Don't buzz in early before you see a question. I mean, just because you see... My instinct for Banjo-Kazooie was the minute I saw a scene and knew where it was, was to buzz in. Because I thought it would be like, where would you see this? And, like, that's not the case. So... Because it lasts, like, how many, like, how many, how many fans were at the scene? And you're like, wait, what? No, it's, I know where it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Gareth Globo Stevenson. The rare testing team. Who did a pretty good job. I mean, they did a great job. I don't, I didn't find any glitches. So, wait, did I? I don't know. We glitched out more in Lego Star Wars. Yeah, I'm actually at the point where I'm preparing for uh, my work schedule to become impossible. Like, absolutely impossible. Like, 60 hours a week for a month. Like, and, uh, you know, multi just multiple days of overtime and things like that. Just, just randomness. Just random, just working all the time. Uh, it's only gonna last for a month at my job, but it's gonna hurt out peeing. I mean, I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm working, trying to work ahead at this point to to try to supplement that. Cause I can do things like video encoding and uploading and stuff while I'm sleeping. Thanks to the following rare people, I would like to be a, a special thanks person on a video game once. That would be fun. Mr. Pants Love Day. Alright. And there's the thing we hate the most. The Star Spinner. Horrible thing. I had a question about the Star Spinner. Where's the Jiggy of the Star Spinner? On, in my practice file. I was like, ah, oh, you jerks. I suppose if I wanted to do some creative video video editing, I could find the letters and uh, kind of copy and paste it and like video edit my name onto this list somewhere. I mean, why would you do that? But you certainly could. Or I could just hope that one of the other people who share my exact same name becomes, you know, a game developer or something. And I could just claim credit for their work. Or I could just be perfectly happy being an LP or talking into a microphone while I'm playing games like this. I think I'll go with that one. Because that's not what I'm good at. Thanks to the following Nintendo people. 
Thank you, Nintendo people. And that is a pretty cool, like, the map layout there is pretty nice. I'll give them that. Because you can see, like, where Spiral Mountain is and stuff. And... Well done to you for making it this far. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so we've had the credits now. I skipped this in my practice file, so I've never actually watched it. Well, don't just stay in there. There's still time to save my brother, Ed Jiggling, by reversing the gun's settings. <laughs> it went from suck to blow, but there's no instructions. No problem. I'll just press a few buttons and see what happens. Yeah, blow and suck. Those are your options. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. You crazy feather punk. Anything might happen. And exactly what you want to have happen is what happens. I wonder what will hit down there. It is improbable it is still aimed at two places. Like, it, it could still be aimed at the last person it shot, which was jingling. But look, it's working. Ha! I believe you owe me an apology, dumb jars. Now the chance. All right. Thanks, guys. Life's not much fun as a zombie. I'll take your word for it. Bottles next then, Kazooie. He's been lifeless for quite a while. So I think you'd better turn it up to full power. Alright. Not until Soldier Boy apologizes. <laughs> Oomph. Sorry, Kazooie. <laughs> yeah. That's mean. Like, I'm not gonna save his life. Thank you. <laughs> it's cool it shows up on the monitor there. Huh, I just knocked something down, but I don't know what. Oh no! <laughs> Look at the time! I'm really late for dinner! Mrs. B will kill me! Don't call your own wife Mrs. B. Alright, oh, everything is happy in Banjo-Kazooie land. I don't care how burnt it is, you're still eating it. You should be happy to be alive. It's not my fault. Oh, the fish is blinking. The witch killed me and I've only just come back to life. Yes, I'm sure you have, dear. Like, she's still going to beat him up with a rolling pin. That's so weird. People, uh, Nobody has ever done that in the history of the world. Goodness, who might you two be? Yo, I'm King Jiggling, and this fine fellow is Klungo. Bear and bird freed Klungo from evil clutches of mistress. They saved me from an eternity as one of the undead. <laughs> so we come round to celebrate. Sounds good to me. Oh, lovely. I'll make us some nice scones. Scones. But where's Banjo? He's the real hero. Mistress escaped. So brave bear and bird going after her. They'll join us later. But now let's party. Woo. <laughs> They're having a party without us. This must be the end now. We've had the credits, and everyone's all right again. What about Grunty? 
Oh, I think we ought to just take a quick look at the top of the tower. But there's no way up there. Nice try, Banjo. But I reckon that opening below the gun over there probably leads up. Well, I was hoping you hadn't noticed that. Oh, see that. All right. Finally, we're us again. We can do things like Banjo backflips and stuff. Let's ex explore our environment and talk to Dingpot. Why, hello there, Mr. Banjo. I'm Dingpot. Remember me? No, not really. I helped you at the end of Banjo Kazooie. Oh, yeah. It's old Stinkpot. Sniff. It was so cruel. But hey, why not jump inside for a nice diggy bonus? Must we? I've only just got my feathers clean from last time. Um, okay. Well, when we come back, a nice dingpot bonus. Uh, you guys take care, and I'll see you for that. Bye, everybody.